Look at this mud. This is ridiculous. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Wow, that was a rainy night. Absolutely crazy. And guys are already out and about on their boats. But we didn't sleep alone here last night. We met yesterday Horatio from Argentina. Hey, hey, who is that? Horatio. Uh, Horatio? Say. Horatio Oli. Ah, oh, yeah, nice to meet you. And he is traveling around South America on his bicycle. Really cool. Yeah. We both took shelter under this sort of canopy area. And Bumblebee as well. <laughs> yeah, it was raining, raining mad in the night. Yeah, you can see there's actually a massive puddle under the shelter. But we kept kind of dry, right? Yes, dry enough. Unfortunately, the heavy rain from the day before was still badly affecting our audio equipment. But here is our route for today. We are heading for the mountains. First, we'll be riding to Cerro Catedral, the tallest mountain in Uruguay, followed by its only real waterfall, Salto del Penitente. A quick stop at some more mountains, Cerro Arequita, before finishing the day on the coast at Punta del Este. So we have about 140 miles, which is about 225 kilometers. It's already 8.30, so better hit the road, let's go. Okay, I'm on. Oh, hold on. What's going on now? I think the battery may be dead. Wait a minute. Um, let's unplug, unplug the phone for a minute. Just see if it changes anything. Oh no. Let me see. Oh no, don't tell me the battery's dead. Hold on, let me see, what can I do? <sighs> Come on. Come on. Come on, start a motor. Or is it immobilized maybe? I don't understand. 11.3 volts battery, what does that mean? Okay, we're gonna have to try and find somebody to give us. I think so, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can find somebody to help us jumpstart. Okay, we just stopped filming. I put it in neutral and then I just tried to start it and it started. I have no idea what's going on with that. That's really strange. Let me try putting it into first. Yeah, seems fine. <sighs> Are you ready to start on another rainy day in Uruguay? <laughs> oh man. Let's go through the puddles. Whee! What a lovely camping spot. <laughs> yeah, it's a municipal site. So it's basically free for anybody to come there and chill or camp or fish or do whatever they like. So that's really cool. Was a little bit crazy? <laughs> I'm just worried about slipping in the mud to be honest, but yeah. it's all right. Hello doggy. I have wet, <laughs> wet boots, wet socks, I have wet gloves. <laughs> wet life. It's 18 degrees at the moment, so it's 
also not that warm. Okay, I think we have to go to the petrol station. Yeah, we'll stop in the town of Rosha, go to the petrol station, and then we'll make our way to the mountains of yes. Uruguay. <laughs> the first petrol station, Uruguay. <laughs> and you can see a flag already. <laughs> <laughs> what have they got? So they've got super uh -huh. and gasoil. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uh, super. <laughs> super, super, super. <laughs> super. <laughs> uh, full. Um, uh, on on esp on español. Full. Full. Yeah. Full. Cheno. 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 <laughs> Word of the day. Cheno. <laughs> Cheno. Oh, uh, gracias. Gracias. <laughs> uh, bo bon dia. <laughs> bon dia is Portuguese. Oh no. Um, how do you say? Good day. Uh, buenos dias. Buenos dias. So we just checked and that Philip cost us 837 Uruguayan pesos. And then we put that into the exchange. That's 17 pounds. Yeah, that's a lot because we didn't even fill up the whole tank. That's like, that must be more than double the price yes. of uh, the, the fuel in Brazil. Wow. I mean, 17 pounds. It's a lot. So now we know <laughs> we uh, are going to have to push the bike through Uruguay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, there are hills already. <laughs> Uruguay is not flat. <laughs> Beautiful countryside here. Yeah, some mini mountains over there in the background. We're out into the vast Uruguayan countryside. And actually, with this rain, is basically England. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got a bit of sunshine. Yes. <laughs> it's still pretty grey around, but there's bits of sun coming through, which is nice because my gloves are soaking wet. Yeah, it's nice to dry out a little bit and to warm up. So we've left the Rosha area and now we're on this little dirt road heading out into the countryside there are some wet patches which are a little bit slippery so we've taken the tire pressure down to 34 38 and um, we're gonna hope for the best yes and look at this countryside beautiful hey yeah very pretty yeah uruguay is uh, not a very populated country. The people who are living here are mostly living around the capital. And actually, this is another way that Uruguay is similar to the UK, is in their love for cows. So here in Uruguay, they have 4 million people, but they have 12 million cows. That's four cows for every person in the country. And actually, <laughs> Uruguay is the most cows per person of any country in the world. How crazy is that? <laughs> they really like cows. Ooh, it's a little bit muddy here. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. A little bit slippy. Look at this. Look at down there. Oh, -ho. wow. What a big view. Yeah. That's really pretty. On this road, we'll be passing by Uruguay's tallest mountain. And guess how tall it is? It is 514 meters high. <laughs> <laughs> so not very high. Not very high. But I mean, look, this still looks absolutely stunning. Yes. So the tallest mountain is called Cerro Catedral. And uh, this road should be passing quite close, so we'll point it out if we see it.
look, 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 I don't know what that was. Yeah, it was like a little, it was kind of like a rat, but it didn't have a long tail. Yeah. So I would go with some sort of guinea pig, chinchilla. We're going to do our research and we'll let you know. There's another rain cloud coming. Oh my Lord. Cables away, electronics away. Oh. Oh no, we've got a Uruguayan roadblock. Oh, look at these cows. Oh my god, that looks pretty mean cow, hey. Do you see that guy? Whoa. He was looking at, oh my god, they look like, a, they look a bit angry at us. They're like, what are you doing on our bit of road? We should arrive on the top of the tallest mountain here in Uruguay in just uh, one minute. I did not realize that we would be able to like ride up this mountain. I mean, that's amazing. Pretty cool. Oh, oh. no. Oh shit. <sighs> Protect the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I think we just rode into the cloud. We have arrived! Is this it? <laughs> yes. This is it? Yeah. Look, Cerro Cadedal. Oh, there's a sign! <laughs> <laughs> Cerro Cadedal! Yes! <laughs> it, it may be raining really badly, but we made it to the top of Uruguay. I think that we have to go up there and have a look because we aren't at the very, very top yet. Let's go check it out. It's spectacular. Look at this. And I don't know if you can see Bumblebee way down there in, on the road. Sorry you can't see this. <laughs> nice. Cerro Cathedral! Whee! <laughs> so we got a bit of a muddy puddle ahead. Let's see what we can do. Just gonna come up to it slow and see how it looks. I think it's all right. And we're then a bit of a hill climb after. Yeah, the road is still nice and wide, but definitely a little bit rockier. A little bit more challenging with some more mud and some puddles, some rocks. It's got everything we need for a good old off-road adventure. <laughs> oh, look at this. That's now very... we are in England. Yes. Actually, it's interesting that in Uruguay, we see the return of the thatched roof because I have not seen that in Brazil at all or anywhere else, actually, except in England. Very pretty. Nice little cottage in the mountains. A little bit of sunshine again. Yes, dry us off, please. <laughs> Pleasant surroundings. Oh, hit a rock on the bash plate. 
Good old bash plate. <laughs> Look at this road. Whoa. That is beautiful. Whoop. Oh, definitely sliding a little bit. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> you feel that? Wow. Yep. That was really, really slidey. The Garmin has taken us now on this tiny little track. It's not really a full road anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know exactly what road that should be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Garmin seems to think that in 12 miles we'll make it to this waterfall, but it really feels like we're on some little farm track. So I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, a little bit rocky here. Uh. A spectacular landscape around look at this <laughs> I swear if this track just ends at this farm that's not gonna be cool so what? just riding now on grass <laughs> this is, this is not barely even a road oh man it's nice to think that if we fall off it's just gonna be like on nice soft grass <laughs> Ooh, oh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's kind of on the top thing and then I kind of was like oh no the bike wants to go on the bottom side we've interrupted some cows oh no doesn't look like they've got many places to go either no oh, sorry guys just seeing if I can get around them <laughs> this is an absolutely ridiculous road, I'm sorry. Oh man. I hope they're going to find some space where we can get around them. Oh man. <laughs> ah yes, guys, go down the hill. That would be good. Down the hill, down the hill. Down the hill. One's gone down, two's gone down. Guys, just stop. Down the hill. Go down. Okay, go up, go up. No, no. Ah, yes. Stop, stop. Baby beep. Beep, beep, beep. Yes. Oh, oh my God, got through the middle of them then. Wow, that was a little bit of a hairy situation though. Oh my God. There's another cow. Ah, good. Ah, good, he went the right way. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Was a wire. Was it a wire? <sighs> Doesn't look like it has, but that was pretty dodgy. Anyway, less than 10 miles to go. Oh. Look at this mud. This is ridiculous. You can see where I went like this, and then look. Just sliding around. Look at the look at the line that we had. This part just got muddier and muddier. Yeah, I need to um, try it as it is. I try? Yeah. Think. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Our front, front, front tire is in the ditch though. Yeah. Okay. 
Looks like the rain has affected our intercom systems because we can't hear each other anymore. <laughs> so having a little bit of technical difficulty with that. So some road difficulty and some technical difficulties. These patches are deceptively soft. You can see the tracks in them. They like really dig in like sand. Okay, let's just slow down here. Just walk our way through this bit. Okay. It's just patch after patch of mud. Oh, that was really, really close as well. Oh, sliding. All right. Okay. This looks like a bigger road. I think this will be a little bit easier. Uh, this road did not get easier. It, uh, it's only getting muddier and wetter. Oh man, and it's starting to rain again. This road has definitely had its ups and downs, that's for sure. <coughs> oh no, the bottom of the hill does not look good. We are so close now, so close. Salto del Penitente, this way. Okay then. Would you look at this? Ha ha! Nice. Tarmac! Bienvenidos, Park Salto del Penitente. <sighs> you know, I think uh -huh. that there was an easier road to get there. I think I've had enough of dirt roads for one day. There we go. Awesome. I think we've made it to the parking area. Yes. So before we check out this waterfall, it is time for some lunch. <laughs> Just boiling up some water for our noodle packet. Yummy! There you go. That's the lunch of champions, dirt road champions. <laughs> it was a good practice. It was our first time on muddy roads. And we just fell one time, so not too bad, actually. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we just opened the rear box and we realized that uh, the eggs weren't fine, and now... <laughs> Note to self, don't keep the eggs in the rear box. Okay. 
Are you ready? Salto del Penitente plunges from a height of five meters into a shallow pool. And then, that's not even all. There's a second fall. to go to Iguazu well we could have just come here it's time to say goodbye to Salto the Penitente bye bye <laughs> that was a pretty cute waterfall a pleasant wizard <laughs> We just had to stop by one last little mountain before we got to the coast and here it is in front this mountain is called Cerro Araquita oh whoa well, hold on look at this oh got some military some military guys hiking <laughs> nice look that is quite a big rock isn't it just gonna have a closer look at Cerro Araquita oh cool look at this very cool it's not bad hey not bad at all guys look at this whoa oh my goodness you say that's cute? <laughs> Look, Ali comes up close to a tarantula. I'm not 100% on this. Look how cute. Oh. <laughs> Is that a tarantula? <sighs> you know, he is kind of cute. <laughs> Whoa. Cool. I'm not 100% sure about that. Yes. A little bit of freaky wildlife for you. <laughs> nice, look at this. And there's all these like vultures circling around the rocks. Oh, that's nice. Like a mini lost world. So, time to head over to the coast then. Whoa, that's quite a dip, hold on. <laughs> okay. We made it, happy and alive. <laughs> We're having to film with the phone because we absolutely 100% filled up our GoPro over the last four days. Um, I think there's a problem with our computer because at the moment we can't get it to turn on. So it means we couldn't unload any of the GoPro footage onto it. So that's something uh, I'm going to have to look into very shortly. But for <laughs> now, we're filming this on the phone instead. And look, the sun came out. <laughs> 
to dry off all the mud. Can you believe it? After all that, we end up with a sunny, sunny afternoon. How nice is that? It was a really crazy and hectic day today. Actually, I didn't expect that we hit such a bad um, mud road. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things I didn't expect, <laughs> yeah. but it was really, really nice scenery around. The landscape yeah. was really surprising, actually. Really spectacular. I was very really cool. impressed. Very cool. Yes, yes. Very nice countryside here in Uruguay. But after four rides with two days of rain, it is time for a rest. So we did at the end 140 miles, which is about 225 kilometers. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Look the phone out my hand. <laughs> <laughs>